Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today I'm excited because we are going to Midwest Haunters Convention to pick up my next big purchase from Distortions Unlimited, The Mutant. We got Mutant back home now. Here he is in his B mode, uh, and he is amazing. So I'm going to show you a bit of the behind the scenes of this guy. Uh, we'll talk about compression, how he works, and then we will get to the demo. All right, let's head around back and see what's going on back here. So fair amount of things going on. Not as much as Colossus, but still a lot back here. So I'll explain all the things. So right here we have the amp. This thing is huge, really loud, nice quality audio. You can adjust it with these knobs right here. That's where the sound comes out of. Right here we got the flex controller with a lot of outputs going in different directions. I'll explain where those go later. Um, but a few of those actually just stay down here. Some of them go to the lights right here. The lights uh, have this plug that is plugging in over here. The lights can go on different modes. It actually has a controller attached to the side of the amp right there, uh, which controls the different light modes. I can go through those as well. Um, because there are some really, really cool ones. One of the outputs over here does go to the base, though, and that is the fog machine. So the fogger will be triggered uh, during B mode and A mode. Right now it's on B mode, and you can see it's been going. Uh, so that'll just tell it when to do that. Uh, and then moving up, we go all the way up here where we can see the solenoids. We can see the main pneumatic pieces here. So uh, right there, that exposed hose right there, that is where um, we would put the air. So we'd plug the compressor hose into that, and the air would all run through that, no other ones. Um, you got the solenoids there controlling where the air goes, and then there's also a tube right here that goes into the jug of water because he is a spitting prop, very violently spinning. Um, we have the three lights up there with the valves, but um, yeah, he spits a lot. You can adjust it right here how much he can. I think I actually have it on max spit right now because I love how much water he can actually put out. Uh, it's really impressive, lots going on. And the more water, the less you can see him, which makes it really, really scary. Um, but yeah, I will show it with the high water so you guys can see it on camera. But in person, it is amazing. So yeah, that is the main base of what is going on back here. Um, but yeah, there it is. Super, super cool. All right, let's talk about compression for this guy. So it's definitely very different from Colossus. This is not needing as much compression at all because it is only two cylinders and because they are fairly small cylinders right there. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is what's running him right now. Five horsepower, 30 gallon. It is strong. It can get up to around 125 PSI pretty fast. Uh, and what we do is we hook that up to the big tank, which is 125 gallons, uh, and that will fill this up. And that tank is enough to run both Mutant and Colossus. So that's the system we've got going right now. Uh, if you just have Mutant or one like Mutant that only has this amount of air needed, a 30 gallon's perfectly fine. It does not need to reset the compressor every time the activation goes. It's more around two and a half activations until the compressor starts resetting its air. Um, so you're totally good with a 30 gallon. Um, I was expecting more because of Colossus, but it turns out it's not that bad. It doesn't need too much. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend running him around 100, 110 PSI to get that really fast but not dangerous motion. Um, and then yeah, if you guys do have multiple compressor props, um, definitely recommend doing something like this because it's a lot cheaper than getting a giant compressor uh, just for itself instead of running it from a smaller one to a big tank. Okay, so I have three quick things I want to mention. One with the triggers down here. Uh, I have the sensor and step pad, but you can also get a push button with him. Uh, I am going to be using the sensor from Fry Props 
for my haunt because that's going to get the timing down perfect. But uh, Distortions included this step pad from Midwest, and then you can also pick a push button like I have for Colossus. So three different options there. Uh, the weight is another thing I want to mention because he is a very, very heavy prop. This is all solid steel. Um, and that is heavy. He is around 400 pounds, I'd say. We have not actually measured him, uh, and distortions might have a better estimate, but he is a very, very heavy prop. Um, and we did end up having to use the same crane uh, lift that we have for Colossus, um, because he is a very, very heavy prop. You would need a good amount of people to lift him, probably around four or five people to actually get him up off the ground uh, onto a trailer or off a trailer, something like that. Uh, so very, very heavy, um, but it's that's good for something that moves this fast. Makes sense, gotta be durable, gotta be heavy so it stays on the ground. You don't want something like this tipping over. Um, but then the final thing is the light. So I'm gonna run through all the lighting options quick to show you guys because there's some really cool ones and then we'll get to the demo. All right, here we go. All right, first I'm gonna show you the demo of Mutant's full B mode, and then we'll go to A mode to show the real moving demo. All right, here we go.
All right, so there he was, Mutant by Distortions. Ever since this guy came out, he has definitely been uh, my second favorite of all time. Uh, Colossus being first, but this guy is a very, very close second now that I have him. Uh, he is incredible, the fastest moving prop uh, I think I've seen in person. And he is just so insanely scary. Definitely will stand out in the haunt. I have a really cool idea for a hallway with him. Uh, and it will definitely fit his sci-fi type theming. Really love that theme too. The wall looks amazing, especially with the LEDs. But this guy overall is incredible. The paint job is great. The sculpt is awesome. Uh, he is overall just such a cool prop. I've always wanted uh, one of the faster moving ones, but they haven't really fit my theme. And this guy is just perfect for it. Would definitely recommend him. I was, his price is great for what he is. Um, he's about 3,600. And that is definitely worth what you're getting. Uh, but yeah, there he is, the mutant. Can't wait to display him in the haunt. Haunt builds should be starting pretty soon. Excited for that. Uh, but yeah, there he is, the mutant by Distortions. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.